your example of evolution of Sir Richard Branson, what can we learn from him? Richard Branson's great. Uh, the quote that comes to mind that um, I love that you see often out there is, success is getting up one more time than you fall. And there's no better example than, of that than Richard Branson. You know, here's a guy who started, uh, I mean, literally hundreds of brands, um, and has, has has succeeded more than he's failed. But there are a lot of failures out there. He lives this in his personal life too. This this is also a man who's broken many world records in a, a variety of fields like speedboat racing and um, hot air balloon racing, and I, 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 some of them are very bizarre and niche, but. He has he's consistently approached a field and applied himself, whether it be business or his personal pursuits, and it's usually preceded by a lot of failure, um, you know, a, a, a lot of, of, of resources, time and money and frustration to find what works. That for us was a great metaphor or, or allegory for that fifth chapter about being persistent. Is that, that in this world of instant gratification and overnight success, we often frustrated to the point of quitting on, on an ambition, and that's not what long-term personal ambition is about. You know, long-term personal about ambition is about getting up the next day and saying, okay, how do I do this again? You know, waking up and saying, I'm going to find a new way at this. Edison had a great quote about this. He said, um, Thomas Edison said, when he invented the light bulb, they said, how did you, how did you figure it out? He said, I, I, didn't, I didn't figure out how to invent a light bulb. I figured out something like 2,000 ways not to invent a light bulb. <laughs>